Okay. So this is the uh, this is the remains of goldenrod. We have we really have a number of species of goldenrod in Ohio. Um, they're all pretty. They're all they, these are a classic field plant, um, an early successional field. Now this is a managed prairie. So this isn't a field. This is a prairie. Um, but the uh, if you were to go across the bike path. Um, there's a field there that's called an early successional field. So early successional means that there are certain indicator plants that say that the woody stuff is slowly coming back. So closer to the woods you'll find sumac and things like that, but you'll have a load of goldenrod. For a long time, this was thought to be the cause of allergies. Like, yeah. this is what was thought to cause all allergies. If you sneak, you know, hay fever was this. The pollen's too heavy to for that. Um, I mean, it's just it's just too heavy, and what what was actually causing it was ragwort, the, the or rag ragweed, the, the the bad one, you know, the big tall. I mean, there was one. I, I live in an apartment in Mount Vernon. There's like a playground, and there was one that was like taller than the slide at the playground, you know, <laughs> a, a, a ragweed. Um, so the pollen's too heavy, and actually, there's been some studies that say this is a this can counteract allergies. Like if you make it, if you brew a tea out of it, I've never tried it. Um, because I, I've I've went with modern medicine for my allergies, <laughs> like I, you know, um, but I, I I mean I would like to try it. Uh, it's a very pretty plant too, and it dries nicely. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you could stick that in the vase right now. And it's nice. But... And when the bees are working it, when they're drying yeah, down the nectar to make honey, yeah, it smells like sweaty socks that are, you know, getting <laughs> it's that sour, well, you know, know, sour locker room smell off of them. I know uh, that that really builds up. Like you can really spot a bee that's been working goldenrod, right? Because the, well, the pollen really, right? It's bright yellow yeah. pollen. But for your pollen allergies, a lot of the allergies people are allergic to are your wind pollens, right. the plants that are wind pollinated, instead of the bee pollinated plants. So, is there any validity in the uh, honey helping allergies? Yeah. It's local growth. I figured I'd, so we got a beekeeper. Pollen grains have a very hard outer coating to them. Right, yeah. Our digestive system cannot break it down. Right. Bees, the only way they can use it is to ferment it and it cracks out and turns into bee bread. Some people say that a pollen hitting your system should have no effect whatsoever because you can't digest it. However, it may trigger some kind of immune response. Right. If, it may just be a placebo if you feel better eating local honey, eat local honey. I tried it for a while and I just like honey. Like so and it didn't really didn't really do anything for me, but that's just that's not a scientific study, one person, you know. Uh, it's scientific uh, enough. Local honey. Oh I did it for a whole I, I actually lived down the road from a bee guy. Like so I just I would buy you know he had a he had a ref, an old refrigerator that he kept off. Like it was just and he would put his honey in mason jars in there, and he had a cup or a coffee can on top. And you'd go and you'd put it, you know, however much, and take it. Uh, yeah. Um, but I just like, I like honey. Like, I like honey bread and everything, you know, so. I make honey water. I like honey too. <laughs> Although they say if you heat honey over 125 degrees, it breaks down the enzymes. So it doesn't have the health benefits if you're eating it in bread, oh, if you bake well, with it. I just like because it's tasty, you know. I, yeah. But, uh, I would put it on. I would put it on toast and stuff too. You know. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't only eat it in bread. You know, I mixed it with coffee. I ate it on toast. You just take the bottle and <laughs> squirt some in your mouth. Oh. I did that quite a bit. You know, <laughs> sore throat. Just <laughs> they say two spoonfuls of honey before bed is a good weight loss thing because uh, honey processes slower.